Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Jimbing with Crispy video. Today we have another brand new knife from Kubi called the Hydra. Now before we start, as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this from us in the future, and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you find yourself frequently coming back to the channel, or you'd like to receive notifications when a new video drops, why not consider subscribing? With that aside, let's go and get straight into today's review. This is the box the Kubi Hydra comes in, with a nice black box, the Kubi logo and name in yellow, and some product information on the back. Inside of the box we have a Kubi information card and the Kubi Hydra pocket knife itself. Take it out here. Oops, failed the flick there again. <laughs> this is a really cool knife. I like the blade. There is currently five different variants of the Kubi Hydra. All five variants will be available on our website as of this video is released. The handle of this knife is made from yellow Ulta material and does not have a lanyard hole on the bottom. The handle of this knife is very decently sized and fits very nicely in my hand. So if you have bigger or smaller hands, you won't have to worry about not getting a good grip on the knife's handle. Moving on to the back of the handle, there is a black logoed pocket clip so you can wear the knife in your pocket or in your jeans, shorts, or belt. The pocket clip is not reversible, so if you are left-handed, you will not be able to switch it to the other side for your comfort. If you look closely at the inside of the handle, you can see this knife has a liner lock mechanism. So you close the knife by pushing the liner lock to the left, disengaging the lock, allowing to push the blade back inside of the handle. Moving on to the blade of the knife, the blade is made from 14C28M steel and has a spear point style to it. There's also no thumb studs on the blade. But however, there is a flipper tap on the back, so you can open the knife with one hand. Not like I did at the beginning of the video. I failed to flick it open. There is also a very small amount of jimping on the back of the blade right here. The blade has a black wash finish to it with a high flat grind. Also imprinted on the left side of the blade, you can see the Kubi logo imprinted there. Which is a cool addition. Lastly, let's go over the links and specifications of the Kubi Hydra. The yellow Ultim handle is 4.64 inches long. The 14C 28N steel blade is 3.27 inches long. The overall length of the Kubi Hydra is 7.91 inches long. The overall weight of the Hydra is 2.72 ounces. And that's about it for today's review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's currently four different variants of the Kubi Hydra. So if you don't like the Ultim materials variant that you saw in this video, there are three other variants to choose from. All four variants will be available on our website as this video is released. If you all have enjoyed today's review, please consider leaving a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this from us in the future, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the notifications for when new videos and posts drop on our channel. Thank you all for watching, and we hope all of you have a great rest of your day.